My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got a 1931 Model A Roadster Deluxe Rumble Seat. Got the side mount wheels. This car has been in the same family until I just bought it. A uh, gentleman I bought it from owned it 10 years. Uh, a relative before that has owned it since the 70s and before that the 50s and before that it was the original owner. They're all related. Uh, they described it as a survivor type car. It was repainted one time like 50 years ago. Um, so it's got a lot of patina but it's a very desirable Model A six-wheel rumble seat roadster and uh, a good solid original car. But you can go to volocars.com you can look at the pictures and read the information and that is where you'll find a price tag on this one and every other collector car we have for sale along with a monthly finance payment. Yes, we can finance a 1931 Ford if you go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel Click on the bell icon, that way you're notified when we post a new one because you never know what will be next. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Okay, so underneath the car is very solid, the floors, uh, nice clean metal, actually all the components, they're not rusted, uh, all relatively clean. The motor and transmission were surprisingly clean. Uh, the exhaust is in good shape, correct style exhaust. Uh, so underneath, again, real clean, proper. Uh, the body, it's all original. This is the original fenders. My dad taught me this years ago. You won't be able to see it, but there's little fine lines. You can feel them on the edge, the very edge of the fender. That means they're original. Reproductions are smooth. I don't know what the little lines are from or what they're for, but the reproductions, they do not duplicate that. I checked all four fenders. They are the originals. This is all metal and it's real Henry Ford original metal on the car. Uh, so the door is a little, a little wavy, like maybe it was dented here, but it's, just, it's all metal. Uh, the paint uh, has a bit of a shine, but there's little pimples and nicks and defects all over it, but it presents itself uh, well. Now this is the deluxe, very desirable deluxe. Uh, the easiest way to tell is the polished windshield frame. It's a little bit shorter on the Deluxe. The standard is taller. <clears throat> Has the cowl lights, uh, dual side mounts. That's the tires on each side. Still has the Ford Script, <coughs> excuse me, Ford Script headlight and the Ford Script glass lens. Has the Auga horn. Now these would have been added later. Their guide, that's the brand, uh, fog lamps. I'm just looking at them guessing that's probably 40s or 50s. Those were added. It's got the chrome bumpers front and back. Uh, the grill shells in good shape. Now the tires, the spares are brand new. I shouldn't say that. They've never been used. I don't know how old they are, but it's less than nubs. And they match the tires that are on here. So someone bought six matching tires all at one time. They're Firestones. Uh, you've got wing windows. Uh, you can look at the pictures of the convertible top. It's actually torn, but it's original. I just went to the uh, Auburn Court Duesenberg Festival, and there was several Auburns and, and cars that were just original survivors, and I think they were getting as much or more attention than the uh, restored cars. Uh, but it does have the convertible top, and it also has the uh, side curtains in here. Uh, but, you know, to what shape everything's in, uh, you know, it's... It, it's old and, and showing its age. Uh, you have a step plate here to get into the rumble seat. Uh, you got a luggage rack on the back. Someone did put blue dots in the uh, tail lights. Someone's also put uh, Ford step plates on each running board. So that's the outside. Let's take a quick peek inside the car. So you do have a luggage rack and that unfolds, and then that's where you'd see the trunks hanging off the back of the car. 
Uh, now, some of these cars had an actual trunk. Some have the rumble seat. The rumble seat's a whole lot more fun. That makes the car, in my opinion. Uh, I wish my grandson was here to give him a little ride in the back of it. This is actual genuine leather upholstery. This is claimed to be the original, and it sure looks that way. Uh, inside here, we do have the side curtains. Uh, the original, they need to be cleaned up really well. I think they might be salvageable. There's an old air pump down there and some miscellaneous parts like an old jack that would come with the car. The door panels look straight. The seat is actual leather and actually feels soft. It's not like hard and uh, brittle. It's actually soft leather, but there are some cracks in it. It does show some age. So you're either into the original patinaed uh, type of car, and that's what this is, um, or fun project to restore. So the original steering wheel, some of the paint's worn. Uh, the dash looks to be in good shape. Got the correct rubber mat on the floor. That's probably been replaced, the rubber floor mat. I want to show this thermometer. I've never seen that before. It doesn't work, but it's kind of cool. Maybe you can take it apart and clean it. So these little four-cylinder motors, uh, I think they put out 40 horsepower. It uh, has the matching serial number right there, uh, correct components, uh, distributor. They don't use wires. They use uh, like metal straps, correct hose clamps. Nothing's been changed. No alternator upgrade. It's original. We want to show you something on the other side real quick. This exhaust manifold, that's a heater. See these two bolts and then this hole right here, there'd be a shroud over that. So the heat would pass uh, the hot uh, exhaust manifold and just blow warm air into the car. So just missing that shroud. This is the original type carburetor. You know, I typically don't deal with unrestored cars. If an unrestored Mustang came in, I, I wouldn't want the car. But this is a 1931 Model A. This is history, been in the same family. And again, it's a deluxe 31 six-wheel rumble seat roadster. It's very desirable. And as I was starting to say, you really got two ways of looking at it. You got a nice survivor car with a story, with patina, with history, with uh, you can make conversations about. A uh, car like this when you go to the shows, or people love to restore these. They love to restore them because they're simple and parts are available. So if you're looking for a good car to start with to take apart and restore because you're looking for the project, I couldn't think of a better one than this right here. So either way, uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They can help. Uh, with financing, they can help with delivery. Uh, it's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the next car is posted. Thanks for watching.